Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Lara Yamada is on assignment. Our studio is undergoing some renovations and while we prepare to launch our new widescreen newscast, in the meantime we'll be presenting our newscast from our newsroom right behind here. In tonight's top story, the state's looking to cut millions of dollars from its Medicaid program, which could end up affecting 20% of Hawaii's population. Tonight, residents in Waianae heard about the cuts and the possible solutions to save the state money. KITV4's Paul Drews was there for the urgent town hall meeting. He files this report. Why well, I can't do no more cuts? We ain't got nothing else out here to cut. You know, let's go let the state cut some damn way out. Even with the impassioned plea, a large percentage of Waianae Coast residents could see cuts as the state looks to reduce Medicaid costs for those under the Quest and Quest expanded programs. Programs that reach one in five residents around the state. But those numbers could go down as Hawaii slashes funding. Over the next two years, what's being proposed is a $150, $150 million reduction um, to our programs. The state can't cut services to children, pregnant women, and those disabled, so able bodied residents will bear the brunt of the cost, along with service providers. We will be asking providers to give up a little. But some could lose a lot more. Homeless who are unreachable and do not register for the programs could lose their eligibility. Some call for the state to push generic drugs first for Medicaid members before getting pricier name brand medications. But not all are in favor of that cost effective solution. One cost cutting solution would be to reduce the requirements that many on welfare have to see a psychologist or a psychiatrist three times a month while others just want to make sure that the cuts are spread to everyone. We want a commitment that all of these cuts don't hit one program. And while there are many different ideas of ways to save money, some also stated millions in cuts could end up costing more in the quality of lives of Hawaii residents. In Waianae, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. Now, the director of the Department of Human Services says it will be a struggle to cut $150 million in services. And with resources stretched so thin, any further cuts would be devastating to the program.